Okay, everybody. Sorry, it's been uh, quite a while. Um, I've been sick. I have an excuse, I promise. Rish says that all my many, many fans are clamoring for uh, more ankle casts. So, you know, I'm, I'm working my way through it. I'm, I'm pushing through this sickness and I'm going to deliver. Uh, no, actually, I'm feeling much better now. I'm close. Uh, it sounds like my voice is even close to all the way back to normal, which I've never lost my voice for a longer time, I don't think, in my entire life. It was... Today is... Thursday, and a week ago on Tuesday, I got sick, <clears throat> and so that's nine days before my voice finally returned. I got sick, my voice went away, and uh, I sounded terrible, and I was coughing, and it was one of those coughs where you cough, and like your whole chest burns. Ooh, baby, was that fun. But anyways, yeah, I had that, and I stayed home from work on Tuesday, and then I went back to work on Wednesday. And on Thursday, I felt worse. I, I went to work anyways, but I felt worse than I did on Wednesday. So on Friday, I stayed home from work again, thinking, okay, I'll, I'll take Friday. It's actually the best day for me to be sick, too, because we're kind of covered at work, so it doesn't cause too much of a problem. And so I figured I'd take Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'll be all good by Monday, ready to come back. And so I woke up on Monday morning, and I had a stomach flu. And I rushed into the bathroom, and I had to call my boss and say, uh, I've got the flu now. I can't come in again. I swear that I'm not lying. And... <laughs> oh, hold on a second. <coughs> So yeah, I do still have a cough that's hanging around. <clears throat> but yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. Um, I actually recorded an ankle cast on, I want to say it was Friday night. I went out, uh, I'd had a nap like all day long, so I was really unable to sleep. So I went with Rish and we watched uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph on Friday night. And I recorded an ankle cast on the way to, to Wreck-It Ralph. And then I'd never, you know, stuff was going on. I never got around to posting it. And now it just seems kind of old, ancient news. I don't know. Uh, different stuff has happened since. So I figure uh, I'll just do a new one and we'll just pretend that other one never existed. Um, but yeah, uh, that's my life. I've been sick for nine days and uh, my voice is finally returning. I'm hoping that tomorrow morning I can go jogging again for the first time since uh, the Monday before I got sick. So it's almost been um, two weeks. I don't know if I talked about this on the ankle cast. I probably didn't. I have decided that this year is the year that I will run my first marathon. That's right, marathon, not half marathon, although I will also run my first half marathon this year as well. Um, I'm even signed up for that. I paid my dues, and I am going to, at the very least, <laughs> run a half marathon. We'll see. I mean, you never know what future has in store for you. You could break your leg tomorrow, but um, maybe it won't be. But I am signed up for my very first half marathon, and I will be running my first marathon later. I, I, was, I was driving to work one day, and I saw a ad for a marathon that was coming up and I thought gosh you know I could start training now and by that time I might be ready to just go for it I mean I need to just go for it and I was getting all excited and I talked to a friend of mine at work who's decided to do this is how he's doing it though he's decided he's going to do a marathon this year but he doesn't want to blow the money on an entrance fee and all that kind of crap so he's doing his own personal marathon. He's just making his own course, and he's just going to run it all by himself. And hes I guess he's having his family you know, I don't know, waiting at various places along the line to hand him water or something like that, and he's just going to go. And so he started training. He decided to do this, I guess, with the new year. And so since uh, new year came, he's been training, doing running and stuff like that. So I talked to him, and he was uh, encouraging. And then I talked to my sister, and my sister kind of gave me a better 
uh, plan. She's like, okay, well, here's what I was planning on doing. I was going to do the half marathon, which runs the same, you know, like a week after the, the marathon that you were thinking of running. So in June, I was going to do a half marathon. Why don't you and I train? We'll do this half marathon in June, and then we'll keep training all summer long, and we'll do the marathon in September. And so I got online, and I looked to see if there was a good marathon in September, and I found one. And so we're ready to go. We're going to do it. We're going to run a marathon this year. And uh, so in June, I run a half marathon, and I've already signed up for that. And in... Uh, September, I will run the marathon, and uh, I've already had naysayers telling me I, I can't do it, they told me I couldn't win Rocky, and uh, I don't care, I'm doing it, I know that it can be done, I know that I can do it, and I know that it will be worth it for me to do it. I started training like right after I uh, decided to do this, and um, I, I ran for a week and a day, <laughs> and then I got sick. And so now I'm hoping to get back on that horse and ride it to the finish line. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to try and run again. We'll have to see. I know that whenever you get, uh, you know, a cold, a chest cold kind of a thing, it just kills your cardiovascular fitness. So you be running miles one day, and then you go out and... When you're done, you can barely run like a yard. I don't know, that's a stupid exaggeration, but it does that to you. It gets, it's really rough and kills. So it'll be like I'm starting over or worse. Um, but uh, I'm going for it anyways. I'm going to push through it, and I am going to do it. And uh, I'm going to run a marathon this year. So I'm pretty excited about that, and um, I'm really going for it. And uh, I'm also, I, I've, I've done this in the past, my, my job, uh, every now and then I manage to get, there's a few of us that are into this kind of stuff that are trying to lose weight, and so I get people to put in money and we do a weight loss contest. So there's a weight loss contest going on again at work. I was really, you know, December was terrible for me. I gained like... I don't know, 20 pounds or something in December. Maybe it was only 15. But, uh, yeah, I think it was... I went from, like, 250 all the way to 265 in December. And uh, I felt like crap. And so I was like, okay, we need to get a weight loss contest together. And that way... Um, we could... I, you know, I can have some motivation to lose that weight that uh, I've got packed on from the holidays and uh, so we started that contest and I was really good for like two weeks and then I just totally fell off the wagon again but in the first two weeks I lost like seven pounds the first week which is really great and then I lost like two and a half pounds the next and I was pretty much at 10 pounds after the first two weeks and then now I've gained like five and a half of that or six or seven I don't know I've gained some of it back which irritates me and makes me feel like crap. But uh, usually with the weight loss contest, they put up like a little paper every week that, you know, the guy that's in charge of it, he'll to get everybody's weight, you weigh in, and then he, uh, he sees who's got the highest percentage or whatever. He goes through and he puts everybody's percentage on there, what they've lost. And... Uh, um, but for some reason, he was too busy for the first month of this contest. So, uh, you know, I was doing really good at the start, and I never saw how good I was doing to be able to have that motivation. And then I was doing poorly, and I never saw how poorly I was doing to have the motivation of stopping being poor. Um, so anyways, I missed the weigh-in this last Friday, so I haven't weighed in for two weeks. Um... But I went and looked. He finally put one together, and I went and looked at it yesterday. <laughs> and my weight is first place so far, <laughs> which is kind of sad to the, uh, you know, the state of this contest. I think there's only like eight or nine of us actually doing it. So it's not nearly as big as it was the first time I did it and won uh, last year when I lost like 38 pounds. 
Um, but I think a lot of people also haven't been weighing in like they're supposed to. You know how that is, lazy people. And then all of a sudden they show up the last day and they've won it all. Which we were trying to avoid because somebody did that last time around. And uh, we thought it was a little bit of dirty pool. Um, dirty, that is the phrase, right? I can't remember. But anyways, so we were trying to get that avoided, but I don't know. I have a feeling that it isn't being avoided. Because everybody has to have nicknames. You're not allowed to just put your name up there because somebody might feel bad or something. And so uh, everybody has a nickname. So nobody knows who is who unless somebody's told you who is who. And so you can't, like, go after this person and say, Hey, you didn't weigh in for five weeks, you dork. Um, because you don't know who they are. And so, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, <laughs> sadly, I'm in first place so far, even though I've been sucking. I'm sure that I'm not in first place anymore because of all the weight that I've gained. Because it's been two weeks since I last weighed in. But seeing myself in first place gave me, um that uh, motivation, I guess, that thing that I'm always lacking to, uh, to get back on that horse, uh, like with the running and really go for it. And so yesterday I was pretty darn good. Um, I ate very little and I gained weight anyways, but we'll see. <laughs> today I'm going to again be pretty darn good. Despite the fact that it's my daughter's birthday today, and I'm sure we'll be having cake and all sorts of fattening food for dinner tonight. Um, but uh, I'm going to avoid the most fattening stuff. I think we're having pulled pork sandwiches for her dinner. Um, and so I will s just have the pulled pork maybe and skip the uh, carb delicious bread. Because low carbs is what I generally try and do to lose weight low carbs and, uh, you know, a certain number of calories and, and eating at the right time and all that kind of stuff. I do that, and it works pretty well as long as I stick with it. So I'm going to stick with it, starting yesterday. Um, and how's my writing coming? Well, it hasn't come. Since I've been sick, I haven't done a thing. I haven't done a thing. I need to do stuff for the show. I've got this ankle cast that I'm going to need to post. I've got a That Gets My Goat that I need to post. I've got a real episode of the show, uh, which we'll have to see. That's going to rely on Gino a little because he needed to do a little bit of alterations to the file to uh, get it up to par so that we can uh, use it. Gino Moretto is doing his very first production for the show, and I thought he did a really good job. Um, but anyways, yeah, all this stuff is waiting on me to stop being sick and lazy, and hopefully, uh, I can't, I, at the very least I'll get this ankle cast on, I'm pretty sure, today. I don't know that I can guarantee getting anything else on, because, um, it's my daughter's birthday, and so we'll, we'll be doing stuff tonight, so I don't know if we'll manage to do the, uh, any other stuff. Although the ankle cast is ready to go, I just need to put together some artwork for it and get it out. Or not the ankle cast, sorry, the uh, that gets my goat. It's all 100% ready except for the artwork. Maybe I'll get a chance to do that today. Um, but I'll probably still wait till at least tomorrow to post it. Just, you know, I want to overload you with more than one Dune Steve related item. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that is what is going on with the Dune Steve, and uh, my writing has kind of sucked. I haven't done anything, um, but I did get a text, no, a tweet, that's what it was, a tweet from Abigail Hilton the other day, where she suggested that I look into this thing called the Magic Spreadsheet. And, uh, so I checked it out, and apparently it's this deal this guy has set up. And, uh, it's a spreadsheet that just calculates all this stuff for you. You just have to put in your word count every day, and it calculates everything for you. And it's kind of like a game, basically. It's like a competition. It's kind of like a weight loss competition that I'm involved in. Um, it's a game where... <sighs> 
it's set up to make you write every day. That's the idea. It's to give you motivation to write every day. So, um, basically, you get on there and, and your your quota that you have to fill to get your points every day is 250 words. Okay, if you write at least 250 words, then you get one point. Uh, apparently, you can get extra points if you write uh, 500 words, you get two points. If you write a thousand words, you get three points. If you write two thousand words, you get four points. So you can up your points by writing more words, but you get way more points by being consistent because. Um, you also get points for having a unbroken chain of writing your 250 words every day. So say you write 250 words the first day, you get one point for that, and you get one point for the first day of your chain. So you get two points for day one. Day two, you've now got two, uh, two days worth of a chain, and so you now have um, three points you get that day. And you keep going, and your chain just keeps adding up. After like five days of a chain, you get five de- five points plus one for doing it, so that's six. And it keeps going, I think, all the way to 30. So you get lots and lots of points per day as long as you keep your chain going, which is the most important thing, I guess. They really want you to be consistent because writing every day and being consistent will make you a better writer than only writing every now and then. Because, uh, you know, you, you learn by being consistent and by it's, I guess, it's kind of like running or dieting, which I've already spoken of. You know, you run all the time and your body will get stronger and stronger and stronger. But if you only run sporadically but run real far during those times, it doesn't help. And uh, I think your writing uh, proficiency, your technical ability, your, uh, you know, your prowess is is built by being consistent and writing all the time. And so I'm thinking about getting in on this. I was actually going to talk to Rish about it and see if he's interested. Um, because it seems cool. It seems like a good way. So I think starting in March, because they do a new spreadsheet for every month, and I think starting in March I'm going to jump in on it. I guess it's an I should be writing thing. Or maybe I should be writing joined into it, and now it's a I'll... I should be writing. There's some other thing called Stone Coast that does it, and I have no idea what Stone Coast is, but they have their own spreadsheet that's for the Stone Coast people, and then there's several that are for the I should be writing people. So I figure I'm just going to jump in there. (coughs) Um, in, uh, In March, and, uh, and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to see if I can do 250 words consistently, maybe for the rest of the year. I, I would really like to be able to do that. I'm going to try and pull this off. And uh, if I was to do that, they say 250 words a uh, day, you would have a 90,000 word novel by the end of the year. And I could see, I don't know that 90,000 words is what it will reach, but I could see Sunny and Gray reaching that kind of a pinnacle. Um, So I will see what I can do. Uh, Maybe I can get my uh, planning done for, uh, for Sunny and Gray. I still haven't finished that. I still haven't finished my outline for it yet. Um, but maybe I can get that all done uh, before um, March starts, and then I can start writing on that. And maybe also, while I'm at it, I can finish the 10th album and get the, the new additions that I'm putting into that done by March. So I can have a story that I sort of wrote this year, <laughs> sort of half wrote this year. But uh, that'll be all done, and... Um, I figure Sunny and Gray is going to be one project that I work on for a long time, and um, I will do short stories at at the same time. I'll kind of do a little of both um, so that I can get just keep that, that fire going or whatever. I'm going to, going to go for it. I'm going to do it. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully Rish will join me. 
and uh, we can make a fun little competition out of it. And heck, I'll put a link to it in the show notes of this uh, this Anglecast, and you can go and check it out too. Um, maybe it'll be something you all can join in too. And you can, uh, you know, they have. A, I should be writing. Everybody puts their name in and then just writes ISBW at the end of their name. Um, and maybe if you're going to join in with us, you could put your name and then just write Dune Steve at the end of it or something like that. And we can uh, make a thing out of it. Get a group going that's uh, having a, a competition. Because they do, you get points and they have a tally sheet and everybody sees who's got the highest score and they have several different categories that you can get the highest score at, like how many words you wrote and how long your chain is and how many points you got and so forth. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. And, like, you know, it'll it'll improve everybody, especially myself, because I suck. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm, I'm feeling kind of inspired. I think I'm going to also, um, on the rest of my drive on my way into work, I think I may pull out... Uh, oh the places you'll go and listen to that and get a little bit more inspired and maybe I can just do something hopefully uh, work won't beat me down so that I feel like I can't do it anymore because it has been a little uh, more busy than usual lately which has made it a little tough to do anything on my lunch break other than just do more work so that I'm not overwhelmed Um, but uh, yeah hopefully I can uh, manage uh, to do something fun on my lunch break, something cool, something writing e. Uh, anyways, uh, have a good week, folks, and I'll see you again. I'll try to get a new angle cast sooner this time around. Hopefully, I don't get smacked with any more sickness. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later, folks. Um, I'm Big Ankovich, and I'm a writer. Your mountain is waiting, so be on your way.